I saw something downstairs. What did you see? A spirit. Spirit? Yes. Whose spirit is that? Is it my father's spirit? What is it? It wasn't too clear. I couldn't see the face of that spirit. I don't know whose spirit. Why would a spirit appear to you? That is exactly what I don't understand. I don't understand. So, so what are you going to do now? That is, I don't know. Are we still going out? Assemble all the guards and mates. Right here. Now. That's my queen. You, join them. Henceforth, your services as palace guards and mates are hereby terminated with immediate effect. Except you, Paulinus. Now I want you all to go in, pack your miserable belongings, and leave this palace. And if after five minutes, any of you is seen around this vicinity, you will be automatically seen as a criminal. Am I well understood? I'm talking to somebody. Yes, yes ma'am. Now leave my presence at once. Paulino, stay behind. As law, law, equeme, one of a Zioba kingdom, orders should be taken from me and me alone. Have you heard me? Yes, my queen. Paulinus, you will have to show them to their rooms. Then after that, their job will commence. It's too well. Okay. Yeah. Of course. I have the power. Yes. yes. I have the power. Members, he sacked them for no just reason. He said I shouldn't talk, I kept quiet. Now it's my mates and my girls. It won't happen, mother. Don't just go out there and do anything stupid. Did you hear me? Mother, stop saying this. Stop saying this. Why are you letting Raymond take decisions against you in this palace? Why? Because he is the king. He is not the king. I will not be the king, mother. Adese, as long as he wears that crown, he has all authority. So he is the king. Mother, mother, when will all this nonsense stop? When is it going to stop, mother? When? When? When the gods intervene. No, no, because I want to see has been compromised. They have been bought, mother. No, I don't trust them anymore, mother. I dare say we know the truth. But you have to mind your words. I don't care, mother. I don't mind care. your words. I don't care, mother. I don't care about the gods. Everybody should go to hell! Everybody should go to hell, mother! Dead. Dead, mother. It's okay. Others, they calm down. Dead. Dead has taken everything from me, mother. Dead. Dead has taken everything. Everything from me, mother. Calm 
down. It's okay, my dear. You have to calm down, okay? Everything will be all right. Calm down. Can't calm down. Every day. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Happiness will never be your God. Amen. Amen. You will begin to see unpleasant things. No peace in this your household. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and you will never hear a cry of baby Israel. <laughs> and a child who says that his mother will not sleep, such child will not also sleep. Ojin ye mata wonya ke nu aka bu oya o we try They will never love it Come on They will never know peace and peace will never know him <laughs> Very clear, but when I tried to figure out what it was, 
It disappeared. This morning? This morning. Hmm. Uh, though you didn't see it clearly, hmm? Hmm. but did you notice any other thing, as in what it's putting on, whether it looks like royal regalia? It was very dark. The image was just dark. Dark? Eh. Lolo. Hm. That could be the god so. Yes. If you say the image is dark, I presume it's the gods that appear to you. Why should the gods appear to you? Why? You know the ways of the gods are different from our ways. For them to appear to you, they have their own reasons. They shouldn't have any reason. They shouldn't appear to me. If the gods want to appear, they should appear to Raymond and show him the way forward. Not me. Why appearing to me? What do you have with them? Lolo, if it is actually the gods that appear to you, it's a sign of bad omen. Yes. It may spell doom for his job community. Huh? Yeah, but, but not to worry, my Lolo. Upright people are not affected in things like this. You don't have anything to worry about. Hmm? Then what is the way forward? Hmm. Let me think about it. Hey, my king, all this for us. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Lolo. Thank you, oh. It's all right. Uh, in addition to uh, the food stuff, here's some money. Thank you, my king. Okay. Queen, thank you. We're one family. Mm -hmm. If you run out of food stuff or money, give me a call. Okay, I'll replace it. If you can't get to me, call my wife. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my king. So, one family, yeah. My daughter, you know we don't need their money for anything, or even their food stuff. But there is nothing I can do. Mama, I cannot say no. Mama, you can't say no to him or what? Why, Mama? He is now the king. Oh, Mama, spare me that rubbish king. Which king? If he were. You are you're not wrong. You're right. You are very, very right. But my sister, we had no option. We cannot challenge them. I know Rose came here to mock us, but they're in charge. There is nothing we can do about it. Eh? There is nothing. I can't challenge them. Mama cannot challenge them. There is nothing we can do. Oh. God's office of our community. In those equipment. <sighs> Mama, gods of this land we never allow them to go scot free from whatever he was has been doing for us. Amen. In tradition, the 
palace is called Ufu. Whoever becomes the king moves into the palace if he likes. If he doesn't like, he can build his own. Lola knows what I am talking about because her husband moved into the palace when he became king. Really? So, our king did not build that palace? No, no. He didn't build it. It was the collective effort of his Yoruba people. He only renovated it. to ask you a few questions. Do not lie to me. Are you aware that this palace was built with the contributions of the good people of Ezioba Kingdom? Are you? Yes, I am. Good. That means you will confirm that you and your husband, my uncle, our great king who has passed on, you people moved into this palace after it was completed. You moved in from wherever you people were staying. I don't know. You did not contribute a dime to the erection of this building. Right? You're right. Good. If you are aware of these things, then can even you have saw this palace as well? Huh? Why? Why are you fighting over something that is not yours? You didn't put in one naira into the erection of this building. So why? Why do I give orders and you disobey those orders? Why? Listen to me, Lolo. You and I know that as king, I have the powers to throw you and your daughter out of this palace. You know that. But for the respect that I have for your husband, my uncle, our great king who has moved on, I will not do it. But listen to me, why don't we go, go? Lolo, just respect yourself. Go in there, pack your things, pack your daughter and move to the boys' quarters. This minute. Is that clear? Thank you, Igwe. You cannot deceive me. It is not possible. You must me see in this life. Oh, we went now. Lubu before I believe with your dress. Go and ask questions. It is not possible. If it's because of what I told you right now, you want to disobey me. That's why you're coming up with all this. And what of spirit is not here? Go in there, pack your things, and leave this place. You must sound me see. To where say? I saw the ghosts again. You mean it appeared to you again? I think we need to see you easy. Yes. Yes. It's necessary we see him because I'm becoming so uncomfortable with their daily appearance to me. We need to see him. Something must be wrong somewhere. Yes. We need to see you. I want to see him right now. Yes. Okay, let me get my bag. Please do. I see no door, I come and away. 
welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, you are all welcome. Uh, Please, bring cola not for them. Uh, no, 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 you should take something in my house now. Uh, Papa, let me Don't get bother. something. Okay, it's all right. Go well. Okay. Uh, no, no, uh, I've come to see you over something that has been bothering me uh, for so long now. And what could that be? No, I, I have been seeing a spirit. The spirit has been appearing to me. Uh, now you call, you said, it's the gods. This is bad omen. Huh? Can you see? That was exactly what I told her. Is your community is no longer safe. Okoye. Oye Siobi. Go and fetch me. Is a more. Tell him I, I want to see him now. No, yes. Do you think is a more has anything to say about this? Yes. He, he will be able to tell us what this science is all about. No, I, I don't trust him. La, 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 la. Don't speak ill of the gods. It, it is not good. because this is funny. Leaving the mansion for the boy's quarters, mother. I told you this is tradition. This palace is called Ufu. It was built by the people of this community. So that we packed in here when we lost your grandfather. It's tradition. What oh, nonsense tradition is that, mother? What nonsense tradition? Put yourself together. It's okay. Okay. What nonsense tradition, mother? It's okay. Put yourself together. It's okay. Gods of our land, I bow before you. I, I want to plead with you. I know that things have gone wrong in this community. Stop appearing to me. I know you want to show us the way. Please appear to those that will do something about it, not me. Show them the way. I am only but a poor widow. Please stop appearing to me. Bye bye. What can I do? This is Mama Yabo's place. You are looking for Yabo, not Mama Yabo. Okay, Yabo. Better. This is Yabo's place. I am the mother. Before you see Yabo. 
There are things you must know. Ben, are you hearing me? <laughs> okay, listen. An evil person that comes to see Yabo will never go home the same. Two, the woman in her flowing must not cross this line. You understand what I'm saying? Three, if you have any charm on you, remove it now before you see Yabo. Am I understood? Yes, uh, yes. Yes, uh, we are ready to go. Nothing can be hidden under the sun. And whatever that is being hidden under the sun can be hidden in the shrine of Yabo. I know why you are here. Mm. I know why you are here. But I want you to proceed out of your mouth. Speak up and tell Yabo the calamity that has been falling in your community. Yabo, our community has been bedeviled with various problems. Not one, not two, not even three. <laughs> In fact, it is hydra headed. Mm. Mm. Yes. They are dragging. They are dragging the crown. Mm. They are dragging the crown. Lolo, the ghost of Ezoba has been appearing to you. Mm. Because of your uprightness. But do not be afraid. Do, do not be afraid. Instead, be happy. Be happy because you are one of the people with a pure heart. Mm. Look. Look. And tell me. Tell me what. You see? Go home. The two elders have confessions to make. Joditon, Kilofer, Yabo. There is a more can neither see nor talk. He shall be well again. Mm. He shall be well. He shall be well again after the confession. Kilofer, Mami. Mommy, give them the egg of confession. Give them the egg. Give them the egg of confession. When you get 
to the compound, break the egg. Break, break, break the egg. Go. 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 Yes, more confirms that the egg you broke in this compound yesterday was meant to kill me. I'll have you all banished from this kingdom. Mm -hmm. I have always known Okoya and Namani up to something. Eh? They lured you into this. They lured her, or she lured them. She's evil. Open the gate. to my compound yesterday and broke an egg. Tell me what it's all about. Your Majesty, thank the gods that you are a good-hearted man. If not that your hands are clean, you would have joined your ancestors before now. Hey. The egg in question is actually an egg of death. What? Hey. But thank the gods, your hands are clean. Your hands are clean! Hey. I've always known it. 
I've always known that you are responsible for all the deaths that has been happening in this kingdom. You are evil personified. Oh my goodness. This is my judgment. Lolo, Ichiokoe, and Ichin Namani will be buried alive before the end of today. Michael. Whatever you tell us that the God said is what we believe. He the nail on the head. Fine. There's a more. Just as Onohu said, you are the mouthpiece of the gods. And we respect you. Huh? Everybody respects you. Anything you tell the people, that is what they will believe. There's a more. I want to be king of Ezioba Kingdom. Tell me what it will cost and you will have it now. What you are asking for has to do with tradition. I say, more, what are you talking about tradition? <laughs> we are the tradition ourselves. Just tell us. Don't be afraid. I have never seen or heard where our tradition was twisted. There's a more. This is the 21st century. Tradition can be twisted. Especially when it involves men like me as a more and when the capacity. And when we to twist any kind of tradition. It's not a problem. Our forefathers and our fathers, they made a lot of mistakes because they allowed tradition to rule them. Forgetting that tradition was made by man. And tradition can also be changed by man to suit man and nothing will happen. Huh? As a more, let us cut the long story short. Say the word, whatever it will cost to make me king and it will be yours. In fact, as I'm leaving this place right now, you see that your old house, I will demolish it and erect a mansion there for you. Big house. You settle down. Now, who's the salary as a more? Hey, what does it have to eh? The gods of Ezioba forbids what you are asking for. Leave the crown for your elder brother. As a more as a more leave my shrine. Then what do we do? We need to silence him, else, he may reveal our secrets. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. Spread it on him, and he will be paralyzed. Thank you. Go. Something just came to me. What is it? Now that that stupid boy burns the shrine. 
It's the best time to strike him with madness. Yes. So that people will believe it's the wrath of the gods. Madness is not the best option. Instead, strike him dead. I agree. Yes. Strike him dead. Yes. Yes. Moore confirms that the egg you broke in this compound yesterday was meant to kill me. I'll have you all banished from this kingdom. Mm -hmm. I have always known Okoye and Nnamani are up to something. Eh? They lured you into this. They lured her, or she lured them. She's evil. Open the gate. my compound yesterday and broke an egg. Tell me what it's all about. Your Majesty, thank the gods that you are a good-hearted man. If not that your hands are clean, you would have joined your ancestors before now. Hey. The egg in question is actually an egg of death. What? Hey. But thank the gods, your hands are clean. Your hands are clean! Hey. I've always known it. I've always known that you are responsible for all the deaths that has been happening in this kingdom. You are evil personified. Oh my goodness! This is my judgment. Lolo, 
Chiyokoe and Ichin Namani will be buried alive <laughs> before the end of today. No. No. There's a moment. You are the mouthpiece of God. Whatever you tell us that the God say is what we believe. He the nail on the head. Fine. There's a more. Just as Onowu said, you are the mouthpiece of the gods. And we respect you. Huh? Everybody respects you. Anything you tell the people, that is what they will believe. As a more, I want to be king of Ezioba Kingdom. Tell me what it will cost and you will have it now. What you are asking for has to do with tradition. As a more, what are you talking about tradition? <laughs> we are the tradition ourselves. Just tell us. Don't be afraid. I have never seen or heard where our tradition was twisted. There's a more. This is the 21st century. Tradition can be twisted. Especially when it involves men like me as a more and when the capacity. And when we to twist any kind of tradition. It's not a problem. Our forefathers and our fathers, they made a lot of mistakes because they allowed tradition to rule them. Forgetting that tradition was made by man. And tradition can also be changed by man, to suit man, and nothing will happen. Huh? As a more, let us cut the long story short. Say the word, whatever it will cost to make me king, and it will be yours. In fact, as I'm leaving this place right now, you see that your old house, I will demolish it and erect a mansion there for you. Big house! You settle down. Now, what's the salary, as a more? Hey, what is it, The gods of Ezioba forbids what you are asking for. Leave the crown for your elder brother. As a more. As a more, we'll go. Leave my shrine. What do we do? We need to silence him. Else he may reveal our secrets. Okay. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. Spread it on him, and he will be paralyzed. Thank you. Go. Something just came to my mind. What is it? Now that that stupid boy burns the shrine. It's the best time to strike him with madness. Yes. So that people will believe it's the wrath of the gods. Madness is not the best option. Instead, strike him dead. 
I agree. Yes. Strike him dead. Yes. Yes. We cannot kill him. Why? His spirit is very strong. What do we do? It's very simple. Konyawa. Make him mad. I, I think uh, that is a better option. Send him on exile. Let him go. Let him get lost. Into another land. We don't want to see him here so that he will stay there, possibly die there. Let him not return to this land again. How should you feel, sir? Mm. I think I agree with you. Uh, wise one, send him on exile. Far away to a very yes. far place. Hmm? can do it. But one thing is involved here. What is it? You will not set your eyes on him. As far as this life is concerned. Hmm. Go ahead. Now my girl be brave. Send him on exile. We don't need we don't even need to see him. I actually fear. We setting our eyes on him is not needed. Let him go. Can you actually refuse your own Anna? Of course. Why would I even see him? Huh? Don't be necessary now. How, how, how will I see him? He'll be in the forest somewhere. From there he'll die. Send him far away. is done. <laughs> you all can go now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It was all because of greed. Oh. Please forgive me. God. Oh, 
By the powers conferred on me as the owner of Ezioba Kingdom, I hereby crown Michael Ibekwe as Igwe Ibekwe I of Ezioba Kingdom. Jesus. Ono, 
The children are mad. Oh no, who? The two of you, you mm -hmm. make sure that all the arrangements I order. No problem. You could let me go. Hey! Oh no, no man like that. Sorry for all the pains you went through. And I am overwhelmed that the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. Thank you very much, Ezemo. I am happy to see you here and hearty again. People of Asia of our community. I am happy that our community has returned to peace, unity, and progress. You see this woman here? Well, please move forward. Anyway, she's not a woman. She is a man in form of a woman. <laughs> she fought! With the help of Nche Unamani. Igwe. Onowu. Igwe. Okoye. Who is the truthful and reliable Onowu in our community? Igwe. Igwe. I am happy because the way of the gods are not the ways of men. Mm. If it were to be, I would have been long gone. And Ezioba community would have been doomed. Now, for the sake of justice and peace, our people say, to where is human? And to forgive is divine. Is divine. I forgive my brother, Raymond. Iche or Chuba. 
and Iche Onuko Bay. Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Go. Hama has taken this place. May the gentle soul rest in perfect peace. I also forgive my mother. Raymond's wife and the sister. I want you to understand that we are still one blood. Yes. Yes, Proceed to the field for further celebration. Oh no! Oh. Uh, you can, you can, you can have it here. Uh. Oh no! Oh, no. Not music!